again, the Riders, nothing to show against Armenteros, who rocks and fires, and Heinemann takes high 1-0. Well, Heinemann struck out in the first, one of the four that Armenteros has tonight. J.D. Davis, the third baseman, in on the grass at third as Heinemann cuts and fouls his pitch back. And the count even at a ball and a strike. Dylan G at AAA Round Rock is through four no-hit innings against Salt Lake. The Bees, the AAA affiliate of the Angels. G throwing the ball well. He walked the leadoff man, Eric Young Jr. Here's the 1-1. Heinemann chases down and away one and two. So G will keep an eye on how far he goes, but again, through four innings, no hits, one walk, one strikeout. And boy, how tough would it be if he can, you know, make it far, not all the way, who knows, and walking that first man. Never know how an outing is gonna go. A walk is just a very common thing, you never think about it, but if you walk the first guy and then 27 up and 27 down after that, makes you think. So we'll keep you posted on G as we go through the night. 1-2 to Heinemann, downstairs, 2-2, two 94 miles an hour. Armateros reaching back for a little more. What a relief that is for Round Rock pitching as well. The Express coming off just that a really tough series. They gave up 14 more yesterday, lost 3 or 4 in Reno. Not a good series, so a great start to that one for G and the E-Train. 2-2 two -two home. Heinemann flails and fouls it back, 2-2. Two and two. And a lot of those were first inning, the game was over oh, yeah. kind of things. I think, what was it, nine of the first four or five yesterday and the, the seven-run first or on uh, Monday or Tuesday. Rough week for the Express, rough year so far for that club. But uh, hopefully the Rough Riders will have some contributors they can send up at some point and help to turn things around for the AAA. Well, we'll see how far Dylan G goes up at the AAA level again against the Salt Lake Bees. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out, nobody on. Heinemann trying to lead it off the pitch. Little number swung on, fouled behind home plate. And it stays at 22 on Scott Heinemann, who has five long balls this year. Riders would love one to try to tie the game. Three of those five have come against these hooks. In fact, there have been a ton of home runs in this head-to-head -head series, but mostly on the Corpus Christi side. Armenteros fires away and blows it right by Heinemann for strike three. Armenteros, 10 up, 10 down. Now five Ks. Heinemann back to the dugout with a slow walk. 